Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate loudness with actions in Reaper. Now, in some previous videos, I showed you how to check the volume or the perceived volume or LUFS level in Reaper using a few different methods. Now, the LUFS level is frequency weighted and corresponds with the perceived loudness of our tracks or items. Basically, if two things are the same LUFS level, they're going to sound the same or perceived to sound the same. So it's a great measurement to use to balance out different sources of audio. Let's review. I have a project in front of me here. The first thing I showed you is how to use the master meter over here. This is in the track control panel. We can just right click it and the track control panel meter defaults to peak, but we could change it to loudness right here. The mixer meter already has peak and loudness, although we could change it to loudness only if you prefer. Then down over here, we would change this to LUFS M, which is momentary, and change this, the readout, to LUFS I which is LUFS integrated, which is gonna measure along a distance for our perceived loudness. So now we can look at the meter over here and see how loud our track is. Let's hear it. And we can see it's about minus 14 LUFS, which is a pretty good standard that many streaming services use, like Spotify or YouTube, so let's say we want to use that. We can use this meter to see what level we're getting and adjust our tracks or the volume of our tracks to get there. But we could also do this with a plugin. We could put the plugin on this track or just put it on the master track right here. Let's search loudness and we could choose the loudness meter plugin right here. Double click it and it looks like this. And right over here, we see the LUFS integrated level or meter. So we play the track. You can see it right here. And again, it's about minus 14 dB, which is perfect for our use. And we can also normalize our items to meet that criteria. Let's select all of them by double clicking the track. Go to Actions, Show Action List. Let's type in normalize. There's an action right here to normalize our items based on peak, RMS, or LUFS. Let's double click this one. It defaults to peak, but we could change it to anything we want. Let's use LUFS integrated. And we could change this to any value we want. Let's use minus 14. We want to normalize each item separately. We could do it to a common gain. But for this, we want to keep each item separately with each one at minus 14 LUFS. Hit OK, and it adjusts each one of our items to be minus 14 LUFS. See the changes right here? And if we play them, they should be about minus 14 LUFS. And they are. But we can also calculate what the items were already. Let's undo what we changed. Now we could analyze what the LUFS level for each of them are. Let's double click the track to select them all, go back to our actions, and let's type in calculate. And we can see some actions that'll calculate the loudness of our items, tracks, or mix. But let's start with our items. Right here, we can calculate the loudness of our selected items. Let's double click it. And now it shows all our items right here, along with the stats for peak, clip, RMS, and of course, LUFS 
integrated. So we know the level as we bring them in to see if we need to adjust them or just to know what they are. And if we happen to have any effects on our items or on the track or any envelopes, we can calculate the loudness considering those things. Just choose this action instead. Calculate the loudness of selected items, including take and track effects and settings. Double click it. And it figures out all that same stuff as well. This time considering any track effects, take effects, or any volume or envelopes we used. And again, we can see the WUFS level over here. But for the other options, let's check out a different project. In this project, we have some drums, a bass, guitars, and vocals. And let's say we wanted to calculate the loudness of a final mix for these tracks. Go to Actions, Show Action List, type in Calculate, and now we could choose to calculate the loudness of our master mix. Double click it. Now it runs our mix, and we can see all the stats for our mix over here. Peaking, clipping, RMS, and of course, the WUFS level, which for us is perfect at minus 14. But let's say you want to do the same thing for different sections of our project. I have two different sections in here. We can create a time selection, or with the regions, we can just double click up here to create a time selection for that region. And then we choose this option. Calculate loudness of master mix within the time selection. Now I'll do the same thing, but it just considers or calculates that one section. And we see the result right here. Do the same with this one, with a time selection, or double click up here, and run this action again. And see the results down here. And we could also do this with selected tracks. Let's select our drums, open it back up, and now we'll choose Calculate Loudness of Selected Tracks, double click it, and it just analyzes or calculates the loudness of these three tracks separately. Again, using peak, clip, or our LUFS levels. One per track. And we could do this section by section. Let's keep our drums selected, but just choose section B. Double click it. And now we'll choose calculate loudness of selected tracks within a time selection. Double click this. And we just see it for our drums, but just in that section. And our WAFS levels are over here. And we could also do this based on mono output. Let's select our bass, guitars, and vocals. And then we'll choose calculate mono loudness of selected tracks. Double click this. So it'll combine any stereo tracks together and give us the mono output. We can do the same thing on sections. Maybe just choose over here or section A. Let's choose our snare overheads and bass and just choose Calculate mono loudness of selected tracks within time selection. Double click it. And again, just those three tracks based on mono give us the output or calculate the loudness. It's just a great way of calculating our loudness or the perceived loudness of different portions of our projects, whether it be mixes, items that we drag in, tracks from our projects or just sections based on time selections. So that's pretty much it. That's how to calculate loudness with actions in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.